Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, as you all probably done saw by the thumbnail, we got something pretty epic right here behind this freaking garage door. I think I should just call it an ancient piece of art because it is pretty freaking old. I'm not going to sit around here and keep talking, but I am thinking this might be the replacement for the old Ford Ranger because they offered me a lot of money for that sucker. So I might have to go in there, trade it in, drive around this old beater for a little bit, and then maybe sell this when the market drops and then go out and get something else. I'm just trying to play smart, but I have no idea yet. You guys know me. I got to put this freaking thing to the test to make sure it passes my limits because if it don't this thing is hitting the road so don't get too attached to it just quite yet but my buddy cord is coming over tonight to make sure we can get that paint back to its original color because right now it's like purple and we don't want that actually i'm giving away too much let me go ahead and pull the sucker out and then we can start talking again she is <laughs> i wasn't lying when i said it was ancient this is a 1986 mazda b2200 it is pretty nice i was just joking but i said it was a piece of junk because everything is pretty nice but as you can tell it's like purple i have no idea why because if you walk right back here and you look right here you see that blue right there that was its original color right there but now we got this purple stuff going on so i don't know what that is and i don't want to be driving around no purple truck so my buddy's coming over to buff everything and clay bar tonight just to see if we can't get that blue collar back i actually did a little square right over here and that actually came out pretty good but as you can tell right here as i did a little bit more on that crease it came out more blue so i'm hoping he can get it back to its original color because everything else I mean, this thing is actually spotless for what it is. And everything works. Look at this tip. This tip right over here, that freaking sold it to me. This thing over here is just perfect. Actually, before we get around, look at the hitch. I'm a heavy hauler. Right there, I've, I can hook up to anything and pull it anywhere I want with this old bad girl. It is a five speed, and that makes it even funner. But look at this tip. Once I saw this, it just sealed the deal right for me. That right there was a deal breaker. And I also got a ratchet strap with this bad boy. So that even added extra. I'm not going to say what I paid just quite yet. But I'm hoping all the rims and stuff shine up. But let's just take a look at the inside. The inside is just as clean as everything else. Look at that sucker. I know that steering wheel cover is a little beat. But that's like the only thing wrong with this sucker. Let me go ahead and get a cold start. That right there is about a whole, about I say maybe 50 horsepower because this thing is an absolute turd. But honestly, everything is clean on it. Like the bed rails, everything is spotless underneath the bed. Everything works. The back window slides, the heat works, the AC works. Literally everything works on this sucker. Well, matter of fact, Cord just pulled up now. You think you're actually going to get this color back to normal? Hell yeah. <laughs> I, got it. I, I hope so. There's going to be a lot of freaking scrubbing on this bad boy. But I guess we're going to go ahead and let Cord do his thing. We'll pick you guys back up tomorrow once he's done. Well, as you guys can tell, it is the next day here and Cord got this thing all cleaned up. It turned out pretty good, but there's still just a little bit of faintness up top of the purple. I don't know why. I guess the guy never really washed this sucker. But today, we're going to go out there and put this sucker to the test. Because if I want to replace the Ranger, I got to have something that's going to be able to hold up. So the first test we're going to do is, is make sure she's quick enough for me. The second test we got to do is to make sure it does a burnout. Because all my vehicles got to do a burnout. And the third test I got to do, I got to make sure she can go off-roading and handle everything. So if she can't handle off-roading, this thing is going to have to hit the road. But enough talking, let's hop in the truck, go out there to the road, and see how fast she actually is. First, I'm going to try to start the sucker, but this thing is so old. She so got to hit the gas pedal a couple of times, prime them up, and then she usually fires right up. Yeah, she fired right up this time. So let's head out there to the road and see this thing will at least hit 70 miles an hour. I don't even think this thing's going to be able to hit 70 miles an hour. But she might. I have no idea. I've never ran her like that before, but we're going to go out there and try her. So right here to the road now. I got to make sure nobody's coming. I'm not going to see how fast she goes off a dead stop. I'm just going to see how fast she'll actually get up to. Let's go out here now hit this road and see if she can't get to like 70 miles an hour. Because 30 miles an hour is a speed limit on the interstate, so she's at least got to be able to do that. Right now we're out 35. Come on, baby. This thing don't got no freaking RPMs either, so I got no idea when to ship. I'm just going off the noise. There's 55. And somebody pulled out in front of me. So I can't go that fast no more. So I guess we're going to have to go all the way down to the other end, turn around, and come back up. So here we go again. I'm going to whip this sucker around right here at this stop sign. And then we're going to shoot back the other way and see how fast we can get her. Because right there, we were at 60 miles an hour, and I still had a whole other gear left. So let's get back into her and see what she's got. Because the second gear right there, she's running 35 mile an hour. Come on, there's third. 
It's been a while since I've been driving a manual. she's freaking doing that ain't too good but maybe if I get a little bit of speed going downhill she might hit 70 miles an hour so let's just call it about 70 miles an hour it says all this thing is going to run so pretty much she failed the first test she at least got around 70 miles an hour if I'm gonna use this sucker as a daily driver but now this is the main one does it do a burnout we're about to find out I'm gonna go back up here turn around come back the other way in front of my lane and I might even have to dump some water out because this thing it might chuck the tires I got no idea when I had the old air filter Man, this thing ran like a complete shit. But now that I got the new air filter in, man, she's running pretty good. So she might do it, I got no idea. But let's go ahead and turn the sucker around and give her a shot. Here we go with test number two. I gotta make sure this sucker will do a burnout. I'm not gonna put water out for the first test. I'm gonna just bounce it off the rev limiter. Actually, this thing ain't got a rev limiter. She just goes to the freaking moon. So I'm gonna take her to the moon, let off the clutch, and then see what she does. She didn't do nothing at all. Let's try it one more time. Well, she, she chirped the tires a little bit on that one, but still nothing too oppressive. I'm gonna do it one more time. Since she chirped the tires, I'll take that as, I guess, a kind of a burnout. If it was wet outside, I know she'd definitely burn tires off, but I don't wanna waste my good water. Let's do one more, let's take her off road and see what she does. Holy shit, that thing actually surprised me. That second time, she chirped the tires pretty good. It still ain't all that, but I, I take it as she's burning tires off a little bit. I don't want to be too hard on this old guy because I plan on selling it because right now she is not passing a freaking test. So this thing is going to be hitting the road. So if any guys want a good, reliable truck, this thing is honestly perfect. She's just a slow turd. I want something just a little bit more quicker. This thing is reliable though. If you just want to go from here to somewhere else, not too far, this thing will work perfect for you. I mean, I drove it an hour home when I bought it and this thing was still perfect. Never ever heated nothing. Heat, AC works, the radio works. Literally everything works. The clutch is smooth, the brakes work good. Literally everything down to the cigarette ladder works on this bad boy. So let's take this thing off-roading and see what she does over there on the trails. So as you guys can tell now, we're out here to the cornfield. We're going to go up this sucker about 40 miles an hour and see what this thing does. There's probably going to be a good bit of rattling just because we need to cut more hangers on the exhaust. But that ain't no big deal. Let's go ahead and get into it a little bit. This sucker is two-wheel drive, so she's going to be spinning a good bit. But I've never took her off-road yet, so I have no idea how she's going to do. Right now, she's pretty bumpy. But we, oh shit, it's not going too good at all. This thing is way worse than a freaking ranger. Holy crap. Come on. Make sure nobody's coming over top of this hill. Because they're going to get smeared. Woo! <laughs> Holy freaking crap. This thing is bumpy. God dang. Yeah, this thing is definitely hitting the road. If somebody wants a sucker, let me know. Four grand, you can have it today. Let me know. And it's got 176,000 miles on her. She is a beaut. This thing is perfect just for a daily driver, but dang, not for me. Let's go one more time. Come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, come on, let's get 50 mile an hour. There's 45. There we go, there's 50 mile an hour. Oh. Holy crap. All right, get outside and see what it looks like from out there. What'd you think about that sucker? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Holy crap, she was freaking moving. I gave it to her, it didn't do too bad off-running, but holy crap, 
It is bumpy as hell. All right, let's take this sucker back to the house, and I'll catch you guys there before I actually destroy this son of a gun. We're back at the house now. I guess you could say we failed test number one. Number two, it was iffy. It never really actually like broke the tires off. She chirped it, but that wasn't too good, so I guess we failed test number two, too. And three, I mean, she did all right off-roading. I guess any vehicle will, but this thing is bumpy as hell, so I guess we pretty much failed test three, too. So this thing is definitely hitting the freaking road. Let's just take a walk around. This thing is actually really, really clean. All this shined up real good and the frame, everything is clean. There's just a little bit of surface rust, but nothing really too major at all. Everything around it, honestly works perfect. There's not really too much imperfections in the motor either. She runs pretty great. I mean, overall, she's a really good truck. Just not what I want. So if anybody wants this sucker, let me know. No one buys this sucker. We are definitely taking it back out for round two. This thing is definitely going to pass all those tests. I will make it pass all those tests. So I'm going to give her about a week. I'm going to let her sit on Facebook. If nobody gets me any offers, this thing is going back out. And I'm going to give her hell next time. But I guess that's pretty much going to be it in today's video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn those post notifications on. And we're going to catch you on the next one.